Well, hello and welcome. Today we are at uh, the Homeboys in Spokane, Washington with your host, Nate. Thank you for watching, clicking on the video. And today we're going to take a look at this really nice 1500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home made by Golden West. I love the way they did this feature right here for the entrance with this kind of a cedar shake look but it's actually hardy board and I like the blue that they used on it. it really stands out along with these little pillars that they put on there And if you like the way this home looks on the outside, go down there and leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications while you're down here though, because that way you won't miss another video. I do like the way they've got this back door set up. I might do away with that window. That way it is a perfect spot for a garage. No windows in the way, no nothing. Let's go check out the inside. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark out. The sun is setting. So we've got some really nice purple clouds over there. All right, so as we come in, it is a wide open floor plan. So as you can see, you got the living room, kitchen and dining room all in plain sight when you come in. And we do have this really nice feature wall over here for your entertainment center. Nice set of big windows here in your living room. Transom window above your door over there to let in even more light. Now I have seen in a Fleetwood home a feature wall similar to this. In the Fleetwood home though, they've got some stone pillars right in this area here. When those lights, that light there, is over here. I've seen it in dark with the, instead of the black being in the back, it's all white. I know some of you have commented you don't like the recessed TV area. Let me tell you that TV area is plenty big, so you could easily put an 80 inch TV in there. Now even I, as a home theater guy, an 80 inch TV is bigger than what I currently have and I'm happy with my 65 inch. So it's plenty big. We've got recessed lighting above our dining area here. Plenty of room for a large table, six man table as you will. I don't know if you can option any sliding glass door over there, but you do have basically floor to wheeling, floor to ceiling windows. Floor to wheeling, so we're going floor to four wheeling, I don't know. Nice big island here. I kind of would like to see the sink moved over to this counter over here so that you're looking out the window while you're doing your dishes or whatever else. 
move the dishwasher over there also and then give yourself a little more storage space over here because you're gonna lose it over here but it's kind of a wash we've got nice tile backsplash with some glass inlay there goes all the way around almost to the bottom of your cupboards now if you haven't noticed there is no pantry in this kitchen but you've got cabinets that run all the way to the ceilings are really tall cabinets lots of storage space in here even though there is no pantry you got more than enough space to store everything they are the black GE appliances I think that's the first time I've come across GE appliances since I've been here today but lots of drawer space they do have drawers above all your doors here. And let's go check out the bedrooms down here. So we'll start with the bathroom since it's right here. Lots of counter space for being a guest bathroom. Full set of drawers, it's nice to see. A lot of times you don't have that in your guest bathroom. Hello, Raiden. Well, the camera was kind of slow to turn there. We have the one piece shower tub combo. Extra deep tub though. Nice to see. My kid still likes to take baths and He's gotten over the splashing now, but well, it was when he was in the splashing deal, it was uh, it would have been nice to have the deeper tub so he didn't splash water everywhere. We've got a recessed desk here, perfect. Set the kid's laptop there while they're doing their homework. They can get all their homework done. No, they're not stuck in their bedroom or wherever else they choose to do it, but still be able to say, hey, dad, you know, Hold the conversation. Coat closet just off of your laundry room, utility room. There's that back door. Like I said, without that transom window there, it'd be perfect for putting a garage. It does wrap around. Now there's no counter in here. You could easily put a counter right here if you wanted to. Plenty of room for the counter. And there's your washer and dryer setup. Nice to see a cabinet up above there. Your water heater access is right there. You have a plug in right there, so you could easily put a freezer down there. Now bedroom number one with some cabinets over here. I guess we'll take a look at one real quick. Now these are decent sized bedrooms. Because if I remember correctly, this was only a 1,500 square foot or 1,600 square foot home. So it's nice to see that the bedrooms aren't sacrificed as far as size goes. And I do like that the hallway isn't your standard narrow hallway all the way down. So as you can see, it opens up a little bit. And I'm pretty sure that this room is going to be the same size as the last one. And once again, basically floor to ceiling windows. In fact, I think those are still technically called a floor to ceiling window, even though they're just off the floor and just below the ceiling. Just enough room for the headers. Let's go check out the 
master bedroom. So as we come into the master bedroom, you've got this nice blue accent wall here. Good size master bedroom. Kind of a well thought out floor plan to make use of the space. They kind of made everything not small, not large, so that everything is usable space. Nice to see. Sometimes they go great big living room and tiny bedrooms or tiny or big bedrooms and tiny living room. And you get this really long closet here to kind of give you an idea the size of the closet. It is a full width of the home, or full half width, I guess you could say. So from the marriage line to the end down there. And in your master bathroom, it gives you, once again, you got a that storage space up above. Kind of a common theme with the uh, Golden West homes and the way they do their bathrooms. It's definitely unique. I think they're the only ones that I've seen this in. Kind of their their trademark, I guess you could say. Everybody's got their trademark. Now this is where your tub would normally go. Obviously it's missing. <laughs> I believe that is going to be a self-standing tub there. A good sized bathroom. Now it does not have a tile shower. It is definitely something I would option in. You do get the rain head shower. You got dual benches in your shower. Obviously the glass doors are missing. But overall it's a Nice shower, and with those glass doors missing, I mean, it makes it look a little bit bigger than what it is. But why don't you go down in the comments and uh, make your comments bigger than what they are and not have them missing. So leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I'm currently uploading three times a week, Wednesday, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.